Hello, my name is Bahman and I'm going to show you how to load data into MATLAB from a data file. I have created this data file on my desktop that has simply two columns and four rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm trying to load this data file into MATLAB. What I will do here, I will just come here into main home menu and click on new script. So this will be our new code that we're going to create. And here I will just simply write load data file.txt. I will put them in in quotation marks. And uh, this will be just load my data file and I want all of this data be loaded and put into a, a variable. For example, let's say I'm saying put all of the data into data one variable. So now if I run this code, uh, MATLAB will ask me to say to where to save the code. So I will, let's call this the code is load da uh, data, for example. And um, I'm going to save this code exactly on desktop where my data file is. My data file is on desktop, so I'm going to put my code exactly where my data file is. So now, as you can see now, the, the code runs. My load data is now created and is on the desktop. Let me just like put it right here. This is my uh, code data that we're uh, uh, executing here. And now data one has been uh, loaded and as you can see, it's the same data that is into data file that was inside the data file. So let's say now I want to get access to just column one. I just want the column one of this data. What I will do is I will just create a new variable, for example, column one equals to, and now I will, so I will use data one. Data one has all of my data, and this is what I will do, column and one. So here I will give the address that I want from all my data. So this is the address. The first column here shows that, uh, this symbol column shows that all of the rows and this second one means the column. So the always uh, here will be the number of the rows and here will be the number of the column. So now if I run this, I, in column one, I will just have the first column of data one. Now let's say I want to have uh, and just get access to just one element in this matrix which is this element six which is on the third row and second column so let's call this element equals to so now i want to put uh, that element into this element uh, variable again i will use my whole data and which is like uh, stored into data one variable and i will say so the third row and the second column. So this is in third row and second column. So now if I run this, so now I have this element six uh, here uh, stored into element. And as you can see here, this is my, if you're not uh, familiar with MATLAB that much, this is my editor that I uh, developed my code there. This is my command window that shows the execution of my code. This is the, f the current folder that I'm working with. And as you can see here, the folder uh, address here, and here's the workspace that I have the variables that I'm working with. So now these are the variables that I have already created, data one here, column one, and also element. So these are shown here. So the last thing I want to show you before I finish this video is how about if my code is not at the same place as my data file is. So let's say I create a new folder on my desktop and uh, I just cut this and put it into new folder. So now I don't have my data file uh, directly on the desktop. So if I run this, and I will have this error message that says unable to read file, no such file or directory. And the reason is that my load data file is on desktop, but my my data file itself is not on desktop, it's somewhere else. So to solve this problem and to read from a file that is not exactly at the same folder that my code is, I will go to the folder that has the data file. This is the folder that has the data file here. So here is the address bar. If you see, just click on the address bar and this is the path to this folder. So I will just like uh, copy this path, copy, this is the address for the folder. 
and just add it behind this uh, data file and just make sure that you add this uh, backslash here again backslash needed needs to be added to separate the, the folder name from the data file name now if I run this again now uh, the code will be running again and uh, as you can see this is my data file inside this file path this folder path uh, so that's that's all for today if you want to see how we plot this data file uh, you can check my next video thank you